Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 332. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 332 to 334. Hey, in this trick here, we want to see how to use the replace function to insert text. Here it is. We have uh, some original product ID, and that is not our product ID. We actually need it to look like this. So we need to insert the number 955 dash. Now we have a bunch. This is a huge database of, of records. And there's only four product IDs here. And we have on our end, we have the, the product ID that gets dumped from the database. And then the extra code we need to insert for whenever, whatever these products are. And this could be a huge list and this trick will work because one formula will work. So here's our end result. We need to go from this we need to look it up over here, take that 955 and insert it with a dash. So we're going to use the replace. Replace function, all it does is it looks into text strings, finds some subtext strings, and replace it. Ah, but there's a trick that you, for the replace function that will allow you to not replace but insert text. We're going to type equals replace. And replace needs old text. That's going to be this right here comma, the starting number. And the trick for insert instead of replace is to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that I is really where we want to insert the 9, 5, 5, 1, and push the I, I, R, dash 2 over. So we have to count to the actual position. So I'm going to put 5. Now, I've already looked through this data set. The whole product ID is always the same three numbers, dash, and then the a letter. And so at that position is where we want to in push it over and insert text. So because 5 is the pattern we'll recognize, we can hard code that in. Comma, number of characters. And here's the trick. Instead of putting, like we've seen many times in the videos, 1, that means we'd count one character or two, you put 0. And that's what tells the replace function to insert instead of replace. Comma, and the new text. Ah, we got to use VLOOKUP because here's these uh, column. We only have four of them. We always need to look up this, find it here, and that's the thing we're going to plop in as new text. So we're going to use VLOOKUP here. Here's the thing we're looking up, comma. Here's the table right there. That's the whole table, and we need to lock it with my F4 key going down, comma. The column, the second column here is the column with the thing we want to return. We got to use comma false or zero because we're looking up uh, at some text strings that are not alphabetically sorted. Close parentheses. Now let's. That's the new text. So what's great about VLOOKUP it will it will uh, vary. It'll insert whichever piece from here depending on what product code is here. Now let's close parentheses on the replace and just see what it looks like. Ah, uh, well, that doesn't look exactly right. It's missing the dash, so it needs to be 9555 dash. So I'm going to hit F2, and I'm going to join with the concatenation symbol ampersand a dash to the end of this VLOOKUP. Ampersand, that's the join symbol, because we're going to join the VLOOKUP result to a dash. And you've got to put the dash in double quotes. So double quote, dash, double quote, and that's it. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. So we've inserted uh, exactly what we want every single time. Now, uh, what if you don't have the pattern 5? Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What if the number of characters before a dash varies? Well, let's just copy this formula right here. Copy, escape. I'm going to come over here. Let's see, I'm going to put it in edit mode and control V. Okay, so I made it a little bit bigger so you could see. And oh, we can't use this 5. Um, you can see down here there's uh, three characters dash, three characters dash, but this one has 1, 2, 3, 4 dash, so it's really the 6. So we need to use, instead of hard coding a fi uh, 5, we'll use the find, F-I-N-D function, which will always find the first dash for us. The find function will find the first dash and say what position that is. Now for us it'll be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so we're going to have to add 1 to that. So we're going to use find, find what text, the dash, double quote, dash, double quote, 
and then comma within what text? This right here, close parentheses. Now, we can just highlight this and hit our F9 key to evaluate just to see that it's delivering for us this first time a 4. So really, we want a 5. I'm going to control Z very carefully, and then plus 1. So that formula will work. We're using replace, find, and VLOOKUP to uh, re uh, insert something from a VLOOKUP table, but the insert position is variable. Control Enter, and double click and send it down. Well, we did something wrong there. Oh, no, we didn't. It's just uh, the, the randomizing uh, formula I have here is uh, repeating a bunch of things. So there it is. We got this one right here. We can see it worked just fine. So for this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, boom, it worked just fine. All right, um, we'll see you next trick.